The Minister of Agriculture, Water and Land Reform, upon being questioned by Parliament members on the ongoing drilling activities of Head Spring Investments, said that the Ministry has not observed any drilling activities during the last four site visits. Schledvan said Head Spring, however, has ignored the license agreement by drilling more boreholes than permitted. Schledwein said this put Stamprit Basin in danger of contamination of groundwater, which would affect the lives of 800,000 people in the area. Now the answer is, as far as the ministry is concerned, the drilling has stopped and there are no activities since the withdrawal of the permits. May not commence with work in that regard unless the person has applied for and is granted a borehole license by the Minister to undertake such work. The Ministry, for now, has not issued a license. The Namibia Environmental Commissioner, Demotius Mufeti, commented on the same topic, saying that Head Springs borehole license has not yet expired, which is why the Ministry is closely monitoring the company. He added that Headspring's application to renew exclusive prospecting licenses has not been approved, pending review by all stakeholders involved. But I want to assure you and the stakeholders that we are not going to take chances. The things that are not good for our environment, we are not going to approve. Things that are not have a problem, then we are going to approve. So that's where we are. So I don't want us to talk about mining because we are not here that, uh, as yet. I hope that is clear. We received an application on that uh, activity on test, testing, which we have not yet uh, uh, pronounced ourselves. So we are still looking at it, and as soon as we are ready, we'll make a decision on that one. According to Headspring Investments Public Relations Officer, Rian van Rooyen, Headspring supports Schlitwein's sentiments and understands the need for thorough assessment of the company's processes. Headspring also confirmed that no drilling activities have taken place at the site as of November 2021.